Hello, Wikipedia Audio. Hall, also spelled Halal or Halal, refers to what is permissible or lawful in traditional Islamic law. It is frequently applied to permissible food and drinks. In the Quran, the word Halal is contrasted with Haram. In Islamic jurisprudence, this binary opposition was elaborated into a more complex classification known as the five decisions, mandatory, recommended, neutral, reprehensible, and forbidden. Islamic jurists disagree on whether the term halal covers the first three or the first four of these categories. In recent times, Islamic movements seeking to mobilize the masses and authors writing for a popular audience have emphasized the simpler distinction of halal and haram. The term halal is particularly associated with Islamic dietary laws. In the Quran, the words halal and haram are the usual terms used in the Quran to designate the categories of lawful or allowed and unlawful or forbidden. In the Quran, the root HLL denotes lawfulness and may also indicate exiting the ritual state of a pilgrim and entering a profane state. In both these senses, it has an opposite meaning to that conveyed by the root HRM. In a literal sense, the root HLL may refer to dissolution or alighting. Lawfulness is usually indicated in the Quran by means of the verb Bahala with God as the stated or implied subject. The terms halal and haram parallel the Hebrew terms muter and azure, and particularly with respect to dietary rules the Old Testament categories of clean and unclean. Several food companies offer halal processed foods and products, including halal foie gras, spring rolls, chicken nuggets, ravioli, lasagna, pizza, and baby food. Halal ready meals are a growing consumer market for Muslims in Britain and America and are offered by an increasing number of retailers. Vegetarian cuisine is halal if it does not contain alcohol. The most common example of non-halal food is pork. While pork is the only meat that categorically may not be consumed by Muslim Surah 16 -115, other foods not in a state of purity are also considered haram. The criteria for non-pork items include their source, the cause of the animal's death, and how it was processed. It also depends on the Muslim's madhab. Muslims must also ensure that all foods, as well as non-food items like cosmetics and pharmaceuticals, are halal. Frequently, these products contain animal byproducts or other ingredients that are not permissible for Muslims to eat or use on their bodies. Foods which are not considered halal for Muslims to consume include blood and intoxicants such as alcoholic beverages. A Muslim who would otherwise starve to death is allowed to eat non-halal food if there is no halal food available. At a conference called Agribiotechnology, Sharia Compliance held in Malaysia in December 2010 by the Malaysian Biotechnology Information Centre and International Halal Integrity Alliance, Participants adopted a resolution that accepts GM crops and products as halal should all ingredients used to develop them are from halal sources, the only harem cases are limited to products derived from harem origin retaining their original characteristics that are not substantially changed. An article from 2000 stated, should a product be brought to market with a gene from a harem source, Today it would at least be considered mishpah questionable if not outright harem. However, all biotechnology-derived foods on the market today are from approved sources. Globally, halal food certification has been criticized by anti-halal lobby groups and individuals using social media. Critics have argued that the practice results in added costs 
a requirement to officially certify intrinsically halal foods leads to consumers subsidizing a particular religious belief. Australian Federation of Islamic Council spokesman Kisar Trad told a journalist in July 2014 that this was an attempt to exploit anti-Muslim sentiments. Foods The Dubai Chamber of Commerce estimated the global industry value of halal food consumer purchases to be $1.1 trillion in 2013 accounting for 16.6% of the global food and beverage market, with an annual growth of 6.9%. Growth regions include Indonesia and Turkey. The European Union market for halal food has an estimated annual growth of around 15% and is worth an estimated $30 billion. The food must come from a supplier that uses halal practices. Daba is the prescribed method of slaughter for all meat sources, excluding fish and other sea life, per Islamic law. This method of slaughtering animals consists of using a well-sharpened knife to make a swift, deep incision that cuts the front of the throat, the carotid artery, trachea, and jugular veins. The head of an animal that is slaughtered using halal methods is aligned with the qibla. In addition to the direction, permitted animals should be slaughtered upon utterance of the Islamic prayer Bismillah in the name of God. The slaughter must be performed by a Muslim. Blood must be drained from the veins. Carrion cannot be eaten. Additionally, an animal that has been strangled, beaten, killed by a fall, gored, savaged by a beast of prey, or sacrificed on a stone altar cannot be eaten. The animal may be stunned prior to having its throat cut. The UK Food Standards Agency figures from 2011 suggest that 84% of cattle, 81% of sheep and 88% of chickens slaughtered for halal meat were stunned before they died. Supermarkets selling halal products also report that all animals are stunned before they are slaughtered. Tesco, for example, says the only difference between the halal meat it sells and other meat is that it was blessed as it was killed. The British Veterinary Association, along with citizens who have assembled a petition with 100,000 signatures, have raised concerns regarding a proposed halal abattoir in Wales, in which animals are not to be stunned prior to killing. Concerns about animal suffering from slaughter without prior stunning has resulted in the ban of slaughter of unstunned animals in Denmark, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, Norway, Sweden, and Switzerland. Generally, killing animals in Islam is only permissible for two main reasons to be eaten and to eliminate a danger, e.g. a rabid dog. In Sunni Islam, animals slaughtered by Christians or Jews is halal only if the slaughter is carried out by jugular slice and mentioned before slaughter that the purpose is of permissible consumption and the slaughter is carried out following the name of the god, unless explicitly prohibited, like pork. The requirement to invoke Allah's name is a must. In other words, the word M refers to Daba meat, i.e., the meat prepared after the slaughter of an animal by cutting the throat and during slaughter Allah's name is invoked. Kosher meats, which are consumed by Jews, are permitted to be eaten by Muslims. This is due to the similarity between both methods of slaughter and the similar principles of kosher meat which are observed by some Jews today. Halal lifestyle can include travel, finance, clothing, media, recreation, and cosmetics as well as halal food and diet. Genetically Modified Organisms Certification Business Method of Slaughter Meat slaughtered or prepared by non-Muslims Lifestyle and Tourism